The next day, I was back in the car and headed for Michigan. I'd heard about the masculine votes, but what did young women want from their next administration? The one thing that I really found difficult was driving on the right-hand side of the road. Yeah. Riley is a student at Michigan State University. She's also a pro-abortion activist. Working with Planned Parenthood, a sexual health organization, she works to educate students about reproductive rights. And to explain to somebody who's not from America about American politics, but specifically abortion, it's just so heavily divided with a lot of misinformation. In 1973, the court case Roe v. Wade made abortion a protected right across the US. But in 2022, the Supreme Court overturned it, letting each state decide its own abortion laws. Now, some states ban it, others protect it, creating a divide in America. You're either pro or you're against. There's not really an in-between. Riley's taking me outside a local clinic where they offer abortion procedures. It's just a five minute drive from the university. Oh, I don't think anybody's out. Oh, maybe there's one person. I see somebody, they have a sign. Oh, yep. So what, are they, what does the uh, sign say? Pray to end abortion. And they just stand there all day? They stand there. Um, and we're lucky here because usually they would stand at the clinic, so the clinic's right there. Um, but in Lansing, they just stand on this corner. We're in a state where abortion is, is legal. And we're in a town which is very student dominated. And there's still, you've yeah. still got anti-abortion protesters. Yeah. On, like basically on campus. Yeah, and we're lucky to have them be tame. My camera quickly attracted yeah. attention. What kind of interviewing are you doing? Do you want me to say? And this is Riley. She's a um, she's a pro-abortion activist. Um, we're just doing some interviews about why Roe v. v. Wade is so important, I guess. Oh, hmm. Good to know. There's many opinions out there, so this is why we're out there to protect life. And... We were also given a card to read. So um, they have something on here for abortion pill reversal, which is interesting. As a young person going for an abortion. It's really difficult to have to walk past that, right? Yeah, especially with that sign saying pray to end abortion. If you're religious in any sense and you see that and you're like, that could be a sign that you're doing, you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. We left it there and headed back to campus. I wanted to see how politics came into all of this. Trump or Harris? I'm voting for Harris. Of course, she she is pro-abortion and that's really important to me. What would a Trump presidency do for young people's reproductive rights? Man, I I think that the, a Trump presidency, again, for reproductive rights specifically, it's like something I don't even want to imagine. I think the abortion bans would get way worse. Um, if there was a national abortion ban, I think our whole world would change. It would be um, a much more dangerous place. I think just Gen Z as a whole is leaning towards not having kids. Um, and I think you'd see a lot more of that. I had a friend, I was a freshman in high school. She was in a relationship that was not very healthy and she did get pregnant and I didn't, I didn't know. Um, and she did end up having an abortion as we were 14. It's really scary to think that that couldn't have been an option and her life would have been changed completely. And now there are some people who are 14 who have to make these decisions to either put themselves in harm's way, possibly like dying from getting a procedure that would be illegal. Yeah. There isn't really a question. Riley was clear that Kamala Harris was the candidate for young voters when it comes to reproductive rights in this election.